keep going here. Now I'm just trying to blend, and by going against the coat growth direction, it helps to blend all the little cowlicks and the fine hair that you find in the undercarriage of these little dogs. And I'm going to come right down the leg. So this is basically a one snap-on comb all over. But we're going to fine-tune it after we're finished with a little bit of thinning shear work, which will help us to blend it and to give it a little bit more style. Yes. Okay. So we've got our basic body work done here. Let's put these up. He's got a very fine coat, and it's very short, so we can use a little bit of a smaller comb. Get rid of some of this hair. Let's see what we've got here. And it's a very straight coat. Almost has a, a bit of a wiry texture. And what I found a lot with these little dogs, you have to kind of get bits and pieces instead of following a distinct pattern like you normally would when you're grooming. Uh, for instance, I usually try to follow a pattern of grooming um, um, starting in the rear, moving forward, going around the dog. With a dog like this, that's uncomfortable, just kind of clip where you have to clip while you've got the opportunity to do it. So if he's standing and behaving nicely, just do what it is that you can get done um, from any angle at any given moment. 